so the next problem that is question number seven and eight are from the chapters both of the problems in fact are from the chapter development of surface of hollow solids and let me tell you very honestly question number seven and eight both of them are very very easy i would have gone for question number seven because it's it's even easier than the eighth one right very less complications uh very less effort to make the construction okay let me just read the question for you and then we are going to do this in less than five minutes here we go draw the development of the lateral surface of a hexagonal pyramid having base is 30 mm axis height is 80 mm kept on hp in such a way that one of the base edges is perpendicular to vp wonderful but one of the base edges perpendicular to vp very well first of all we are talking about a hexagonal pyramid that's the first thing the dimensions are the base edges all of these are 30 millimeters each secondly the height height of the pyramid or let's say the length of the axis this is equal to 80 okay, remember 30 80 30 80 all right base is on hp and uh, <laughs> the one thing that has shocked me that Although it is a question from the topic development of surfaces, there is no cutting plane or section plane involved. It's a very easy question for you. You just need to develop it, right? It's a hexagonal pyramid. Therefore, the development in the development there are going to be as many as six triangles. So so damn easy problem. But still, there is going to be a certain amount of trick which will be revealed in the next few seconds make a hexagonal pyramid and it has been given in the question that one of the base edges is perpendicular to vp and you can clearly see this base edge what sir f a base edge you can clearly see it is yes it is perpendicular to x y line which means it is perpendicular to vp you can also say sir uh, along with this ye to free ka perpendicular ho gaya. Bilkul. cd also has become perpendicular to x y lines which uh, indicates it is perpendicular to vp done okay sir uh let's uh make the projectors uh by the way these are the slant edges first of all okay <laughs> meeting at the center and then draw the projectors these are the points of the base and uh, then the axis length is 80 okay i'll be doing the dimensions at the end don't worry and then join 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 done now you just need to make the development Please remember, whenever you solve a problem on development, you have got to use or make use of true length. There is a check. Please check whether any slant edge is parallel to x, y or not. If the answer is yes, then the corresponding front view is true length please note it down or you can take a screenshot if no then select any slant edge and make it parallel to x y okay and then its corresponding front view is going to be your true length so this is the process allow me to explain okay as you can see OF, <clears throat> just a sec. Take a look. Is OD parallel to XY? No, sir. Is OC parallel? No, sir. Is OB parallel? No, sir. In fact, this is perpendicular. What about OA? No. OF, no. OE, no. So there is no slant edge in the top view which is parallel to the XY line. And hence, is slant edge parallel to XY? The answer is no. And therefore, we are going to but take a look at i mean we are going to follow this consider, consider uh, condition we are going to select any slant edge in our case we are going to select this slant edge oa we are going to make it parallel to xy so what we'll do is we'll rotate it rotate oa until it becomes parallel to xy take a look take a look zoom over here take a look this is what we've done you watch carefully this was the initial location or position of OA. We have rotated the solid in such a way that this OA has now become OA1, which indicates that it is parallel to XY. Now, if you watch this O, 
O dash A A dash. This is old stuff. The new stuff is O dash, and this A one is going to have a new location in the front view. This is A one dash. Let me zoom on it. What is this? This A one is going to have a new location in the front view. That is A one dash. Okay. Just like A was connected to O, you have to connect A one dash with O dash, and this now qualifies as your true length. I hope I have made myself absolutely clear. A dash, A one dash, and O dash is now your true length. So keep the pencil leg at A one dash and the steel leg of your compass at O dash. Draw a line from over here. This point is marked as O. Now with this much as your radius, that is the true length of the slantage. Make an arc. Lovely. Let's start with this very point. Let us say this is A. What is the distance between A and B? Sir, A and B, the distance between them is 30. If you want to check, here it is, 30 millimeters. Lovely. Now, with an arc of radius 30 millimeter, right? With A center, cut an arc. B center, cut an arc. Keep on repeating the process until you reach A again. And now you can join all of these points with the help of straight lines. This is the case of a pyramid. So the base, all of these bases, base points are connected via straight lines. Join them. Now make these slantages. C O D B O. Okay. Every day. done. Development is done. If you want to make your work look more professional, keep it dark. Damage stick. Okay. And the construction stuff, keep it very, very light and grayish. This is the level that you need to achieve. Right? 10 marks. I still can't believe. Okay. And very recently, a student. Uh, sent his question paper to me. Hmm? Actually, this this problem uh, he he failed in the examination in the first semester. 2023-24. 20, 2023-24 20, session. First semester. Okay. And this is that question paper. So he got it checked from another professor. He told me that sir, you bhi check karke zara kitna number one right. I told you, I told him, he said, he wasn't passing. So that was the issue. And so, yes, I mean, if you have a question paper, you have to write a number. You need to make the drawing. Okay? You have to show some accuracy. You have to give respect to the subject. Anyways. No lecturing. 